Our church services happen in a theater next door to our building, which means we have to set up and tear down every single week. But I can set up our entire four camera live stream in about 45 minutes. And it's all thanks to this, our homemade mobile live stream cart. We used to transport everything that we used in buckets and bins on this small metal cart and then set up on a small folding plastic table. There was a ton of complicated setup involved and so it was hard to train people on and honestly kind of took forever. It was also hard on our gear to be moving it on and off the metal cart all the time. Sure, we could transport everything in road cases, but there are two main problems with that. One, they're kind of expensive and two, they take up a lot of space. We have limited space in our church building to store things during the week, so we needed something that was compact but held everything that we needed and was easy to wheel out when we needed it on Sunday. So I worked on a little design and came up with this. Every single piece of our gear fits into this one single cart, other than our slider rails. This means that everything we need to run on a Sunday morning is all in the same place and doesn't require making a bunch of trips back and forth between our church and the theater. It's also our desk for our director when he's switching during the service. During the week, it's tucked in a corner of our church and plugged in so all of our batteries can charge and be ready for services. Then on Sunday mornings, we wheel it right over to the theater and set everything up. There's actually very little work that has to be done in order to set it up, so one person can do it in about 45 minutes. We use every single inch of this cart to store things during the week, and almost all of it comes out on a Sunday morning to be actively used during our live stream. As you can see, the whole thing kind of transforms as we get it ready for our service to start. Let's take a look at all the gear that's actually stored on it. First off, right on the top of the cart, we've got a laptop, our camera dolly, and some other random stuff that doesn't really have a home right now. It's not super clean, but sometimes you just got some weird stuff that doesn't really fit anywhere else. Right above that, and kinda hard to miss, is our 55 inch TV. As I'm sure you can imagine, we use this for our multi-view. To hold it up there, we've actually just got a couple of 2x4 studs coming out of the back of the cart, and then just a normal TV mount holding it up. We've also used this space to fasten a few things, such as some excess cabling and our Wi-Fi router, just to make sure it's pretty high and that it's facing the stage where all of our tally lights are. Next to this, you can also see we have a small monitor on a swiveling monitor arm. This allows us to swing it out to the side on Sunday mornings, but pack it in tight when it's in storage. We use this monitor for our secondary multi-view coming out of our A10 Mini. Over here is the section that holds our tripods. It's vertical and open air since the tripods are actually taller than the cart. And we used to have more than one, but we've changed our setup a bit, so now there's just one. Alongside it, we also store all the clamps that hold our dolly track to the railings. We also store a folding table in here that we set up next to the cart as a camera op staging area to hold their cameras, their belt packs, and headsets and whatever. We didn't really want this to be wasted space once everything is unloaded though, so I actually designed it so the tabletop folds back down over it and extends our workspace. This gives us some extra room during the service, but also lowers the footprint while the cart is in storage. This little section here just has a set of three drawers to hold odds and ends, you know, lens caps, bongo ties, extra batteries, pens, screws, tools, SD cards, you know, all the random things you need when you're working on a production with cameras. Right below that, we've got space for all of our long SDI cables that we run to each of our four cameras. We keep them spooled up nice and clean, and they all fit in here without too much trouble, as long as you coil them up right. We actually used to run our live stream off of vMix that was running on a desktop PC, and this section was sized perfectly for that computer. After we moved to the ATEM Constellation, we didn't really need that computer anymore, but we were able to repurpose this section of the cart since it's just about the perfect size for all of our cables. Over here, we've got this shelf with most of our tech on it. In the front, we keep our V-mount batteries and our headset batteries charging. In the back, you can see our ATEM Constellation, our ATEM Mini, our network switch, and a Raspberry Pi running Companion. If you don't know about Companion, check out this video on how it can make your life so much easier while live streaming and controlling all of your gear. You may notice this shelf is pretty bright compared to anything else we looked at yet. That's because I added this LED strip down here to make sure you can actually see what's going on. The shelves on this side are the ones you'll most often be grabbing extra stuff from once everything is set up, so I figured it made sense to add some extra light since we're usually set up in the back of the room and it's pretty dark over there. The next shelf down has kind of a random assortment of things. It's where we keep our audio mixer during the week, but also our ear tech headsets, our camera belt packs, video on those is up here, and a basket of random accessories. This bottom shelf is my favorite one though. 
It's actually a drawer and holds all of our cameras in it. It slots right in here in the bottom shelf, and so when you pull it out, you get an extra shelf to work with during the service. Not only that, but when you flip this box upside down, it actually becomes the platform that our follow cam operator stands on while operating that camera because it's kind of high in the air. Talk about an efficient use of space. Anyways, here at the bottom we have our wheels, or <laughs> casters. They can get pretty expensive, but I picked these up from Harbor Freight for a steal. I do wish I had gone with some actual rubber tires just to make moving this thing around a bit smoother and softer on our gear, but these would work fine for us. They're all fully articulating, which makes navigating tight spaces a breeze. They're also locking because we don't want our cart to move anywhere when we're furiously directing on a Sunday morning. So that's the layout of the cart. Every piece of tech that's on here stays wired up, and then we've just got a couple of power cords that hang out the back that we plug into the wall whenever we arrive at our destination. That turns everything on and gets us ready to go. After we've got power, we need to actually connect all of our external sources. So first is our SDI video feeds. They come into the back of our ATEM constellation and then run throughout the room wherever they need to go for our four different cameras. After that, we run a snake to the tech booth that has our left and right audio channels. Those plug into the soundboard there. Got an HDMI cable to connect to our presentation computer running ProPresenter and an ethernet cable to hook into the theater's network. If you want to see a complete rundown of the tech we use and how it's all connected, check out this video up here. Some things may have changed since then because we're always trying to improve our live stream, but it'll be pretty close to what we're running today. The cart itself is honestly a super simple build. It's a basic frame built using two buys, and then the whole thing is covered up in three quarter inch ply. It's super sturdy, and we've been using it for about two years now without a single problem. We've made a lot of changes over the years though. I mentioned that we used to be on vMix, so the organization of all our gear was a bit different than it is today. But as our gear changed, we needed access to different things, we needed more power, more cables run a little bit differently, etc. But one of the perks of this being completely DIY is that I've been able to cut holes in it where we needed, fasten things wherever we needed, and really just make sure that this is the perfect solution for all of our wants and needs. Not only that, but it's a fraction of the cost of something that would have this much utility if we were to try to buy it or commission it outright. If your church also sets up and tears down and you think you'd benefit from something like this, I would just urge you to sit down, decide on your needs, and design something that meets them while also giving you some room to grow in the future. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. I would love to hear about you and hear about what you're doing with this. Until next time.